guys, and welcome back. Finally, 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 after four months, it might have been longer than that, actually, of nothing, except for the update about the cancer scare and all that stuff. But I'm back. Um, this is the game feed, and thanks for stopping by. Um, first of all, I want to go ahead and bring everybody up to speed of what I have been doing since uh, we last talked on the game feed. Um, this is kind of more into Let's Talk territory, but um, you know I'm not getting a Let's Talk out this week. So, um, fortunately for you guys, this is going to be a longer game feed slash Let's Talk hybrid. Um, first and foremost, um, I want to say in advance, um, you guys may have seen the news on my Facebook um, about um, religion and whatnot, and I just want to go ahead and tell you um, this is not a channel where you will have to worry about me preaching at you or telling you how to live your life and what to actually um, believe in. That is not why I'm here, and whatever you do believe and don't believe that's fine. You can believe in this flying spaghetti monster or Satan. That's perfectly fine. I'm not here to argue that. Um, but um, just to go ahead and get it clear, and I'll do a let's talk maybe next week more in depth about this. But um, yeah. Anyways, um, a lot of big things have been happening in gaming, and I've missed out on a lot of them. And I'm still um, trying to get my foothold on a lot of stuff just to the fact that A, I don't have money, I don't have a job right now. Um, we're still um, trying to get um, our feet back on our feet. And I have a huge backlog of games anyways that I couldn't, I haven't played. I literally have hardly played any games for four months. So usually by now I would have a whole laundry list of games that I've done completed. Like Fallout, I would already had that done. But no, no, for four months I've hardly touched them the most I would get my Xbox out to do or PlayStation is to update it or my PC uh, I would play a little bit of Sniper Elite here and there but I have been keeping up with gaming news a lot of it um, some good some bad but let's go ahead and focus on the good I don't really want to make my first episode back a uh, <laughs> what did you say a depressing and um, not good one so let's talk about the good stuff, and we'll talk, well, since um, most of you guys probably already seen previous stuff uh, from the last four months, I'll go to something more recent, and that's with the Xbox um, Live <coughs> crossplay integration, which is really, really cool, really good news, came out of nowhere. Um, Xbox Live has been a closed system, uh, meaning, you know, not other systems, even PC wasn't really able to connect to the service and you cannot play players on you know PC uh, Wii U whatever and that's really cool it's a really cool thing what it does it gives us a chance to play more people um, and you can have those console type wars You're like oh I'm on team PlayStation I'm on team PC no I'm on team Xbox most likely you're gonna get demolished by a PC player but you know yeah, you know, there's always a chance, but um, I think it's really good. Microsoft seems to be positioning as pl positioning them themselves. Um, I can't get the word out um, on a new new initiative um, path that makes it look makes Xbox, anyways, makes it a whole lot bigger than actually what it is. Um, PlayStation sales numbers are still two to one compared to the um, Xbox One. But the Xbox is bringing Xbox the brand to PC, so um, that's going to give more people a chance to play uh, games they would might have not had a chance to play unless they put, bought the Xbox One. And you see that with Quantum Break, um, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Gears of War, uh, Ultimate Edition, Gears of War 4, Forza Reflex. Um, all these games are going to be coming to PC. Now, I don't know if most of them are going to be the Universal Windows app, um, which that's basically you buy an app 
like you do on the iPhone, and it works for you know iPad and whatnot. So it's basically Microsoft's kind of heading that direction where one app is tied to all Windows devices, which is a really cool for the ecosystem. Uh, a little bit, it's kind of tablety, um, iOSy, but I'm cool with it. Um, I did see where Sony did respond to. Um, Xbox, you know, saying, hey, come on over, let's play some games, or the developers can choose. Um, the the comment I saw, I don't know if it's from Shuhei or just some other um, PR guy, but it basically said, oh, we've been doing that since 2002 between PlayStation 2 and PC of Final Fantasy 11 and whatnot, which it, it kind of sounds dickish if you look at it that way, but they did retort and go back and say, um, you know, we would like, we are interested in talking to developers about that. Um, the technical side is, can, might be a little difficult as well as the business. So it's basically saying maybe, probably not. Uh, I don't see Sony playing nice with Microsoft, um, even if Microsoft's trying to bring everybody in on the same, you know, network and play. Rocket League or Call of Duty, which, you know, it'd be pretty nice to have. Um, but um, I don't see it being a bad thing. I don't, a lot of people, like, if you check out on the forums, uh, you know, you have your fanboys on those, both sides, and they're like, no, we can't do this, or no, don't do it, it's terrible. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. It's, it's good for the gaming industry. The more people you get to play, the better. Uh, they can be less um, fighting over who's got what console, which that's still going to happen, but you're still going to be able to play with people. I'm sorry. Um, another cool thing is PlayStation announced the price, finally, for PlayStation VR, which is actually a whole lot cheaper than I expected, and it's supposed to be bundled with, the, I think, a Move controller and the camera, which the bundle, I believe, is $399.00. Which that's actually nice, uh, nice firm price. Um, Oculus Rift is doing, I think, four ninety nine, and the HTC Vive is, it's either seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. Now, if you haven't played VR or checked it out, it's something I think is going to revolutionize the way we play games. And you can go back on my previous videos where I had the Oculus Rift Dev Kit too. Uh, it's da definitely, definitely, definitely nice. Um, it's unlike anything you've ever played before. It's not like the quirky VR we had back in the early 90s or 80s, um, like the lawnmower man type stuff. No, it's it's actually really cool. Um, some of it seems a little gimmicky. Um, I don't know if VR is going to um, go out the gates and just sell billions and billions of units. I don't see that happening. Um, it's a high price. Um, and it does require really good hardware to run at least two of those, which would be the Vive and the Oculus. Um, and the PlayStation, I'd say PlayStation VR will probably sell more units uh, than the other two. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. The only reason I say that because of the cheaper price point and the only thing you really need is a PlayStation 4 and the camera and the move controls. So I don't see the Rift and HTC Vive um, selling, you know, an outstanding amount of units. I mean, they probably will, but just as I see that more as a um, high-end gaming peripheral, um, just the way I see um, any higher-end graphics card, I see it, oh, it's nice to have, but I can't afford it. Um... If I had to choose, I might go for the Vive. Um, from what I'm hearing, that is basically the top-notch, um, the best of the best in terms of VR. And it's, Valve is working on it, so there's got to be a little bit of quality there. Um, but if they make a Val, uh, Vive 2, you can guarantee there won't be a Vive 3. It just won't happen. Um, <laughs> another thing uh, that's really, really cool... Um, I've been playing a couple games. I've been trying to slowly, slowly get back in the groove of things 
uh, we finally got the internet, which is 100 megabytes, uh, download uh, 10, um, upload with a terabyte of data, which I've never had to deal with a data cap before, so living in Ohio, we had uh, Time Warner Cable, and it was 50 and 5, 50 download and 5 upload, and moving to this is insanely crazy, it's fast, um, I, I do see a little bit of latency, um, I don't know if you guys heard of Mediacom, but that's, we had them, and there's Frontier, that's the competitor in this, compl this area, um, where we was living at prior to this, we had um, 15, we had a 15 gig cap for a month, um, and it's, it, it, it was bad. <laughs> But I'm glad we got internet again. I'm really thankful. Um, so I can play catch up. I uh, just finished up, finally, Transformers Devastation, uh, Telltale's Game of Thrones, uh, Super Hot. Um, I'm currently working on Rise of the Tomb Raider um, and Minecraft Story Mode. And I'm going to keep on going. I got a lot to go. I have yet to get The Vision, I have yet to get Far Cry uh, Primal. And I'm sure there's a few th other things I'm missing out on. Oh yeah, Legend of Zelda, uh, Twilight Princess HD Remaster, and Quantum Brink comes out next month, which I'm super excited for. I love Remedy. I played all of them. At, well, Max Payne 1 and 2, and I played number 3. It wasn't done by Remedy, but um, I played all those games. I played Alan Wake uh, and Alan Wake, I think it's, what's it called? Uh, American Nightmare, I believe. Um, all good, good stuff. I just can't wait to play Quantum Break, uh, just because I know uh, Remedy's pedigree is really good. There's, I don't know that they ha ever had a dud. Um, but um, since we're talking about games to catch up on, um, I love Fallout. I love it a lot. Um, I have yet. I, I think I put ten hours into Fallout Four since I had it, and that was right before we moved, and I've tried to sit down and play some throughout the last four months, I just haven't had a chance. Um, it, the impressions I have so far, it, it plays better than previous entries, um, it's smoother, um, a lot of people kind of dis the graphics, but I think they look f fantastic, um, and it plays like a dream. Uh, I'm kind of weirded out by why it didn't get like Game of the Year, but then again, it went up against uh, The Witcher 3, which kind of turns out is one of the highest awarded games of all time. Uh, I think they came out yesterday and said they had 800 rewards. I'm uh, sorry for the shakiness. I'm up against my table here. Not table, but my desk. But, um, yeah, sorry about that. But it did come out, it is making a uh, ton of awards. I still have yet to play Witcher. I have Witcher 1 and 2 on PC, uh, Witcher 2 on the Xbox One, which through the backwards compatibility, I yet to play these games. So maybe uh, once I get caught up uh, with the other games, I will get to that. Um, another game I want to talk about before, well, two more games I want to talk about before we get I end this. and. One is The Phantom Pain, which I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. I've played all the Metal Gear games, uh, the spinoffs, except for Acid. I don't want to play Acid. <laughs> I don't want to do Acid either. Or do I? No, no, I don't want to do Acid. But um, Metal Gear Solid Five, what it lacks in story, um, which that's one thing I do not like about Metal Gear Solid Five. Um... It's really good. It, I mean, it, it, it plays. It's the best playing Metal Gear game. It might be one of the best playing third person games I've ever played. The only thing I don't care about is, you know, I'm used to Metal Gear. When you think Metal Gear, you think long cutscenes, dramatic drama, um, tons of voice work. I don't see that much in here. I mean, I, I, I went through all the, you know, tapes and stuff you collect, and. You know, all the cutscenes, but the cat, there wasn't very many cutscenes in there. Um, and ultimately, when the game finally ended, after, I think, at Mission 45, um, I think that was the end of the game, but there was five more missions after that. You got to beat them on um, 
I forget what it was, like the hard, most hardest difficulty, and I did that. Um, I fought uh, Soulful Ampharos, a little bit, whatever that Metal Gear is. At the end, I was hoping, cutscene, let's tie everything up. No, it didn't happen. Um, but what is there in Metal Gear Solid 5? It's still worth picking up. Um, the microtransactions that's been added, um, that is a deterrent on its own. I have not touched Metal Gear Online. I will not play it. It's just not happening. Um, and one more game I'll go ahead and talk about, and I'll put some gameplay up for it later, is one of the biggest surprises of 2015, in my opinion. And that's Transformers Devastation. Looking into that game from the first previews I saw, I said, that's going to be a shit sandwich. I don't want any part of that. Uh, looks like a cash tie-in, and I don't want to play it. And then I started seeing more about it. Uh, Platinum Games, the guys behind Bayonetta, um, Bayonetta 2, uh, Heroes, Wonderful 101, I'm sorry. Um, and I still, I still didn't think it was good. Um, because I remember when Legend of Korra came out, it was made by Platinum, it got ter not very good reviews. But Platinum is one of those game developers that usually get it right. Um, if one thing, it's one thing to have, you know, a crappy story, but the good thing about Platinum is gameplay. They are awesome at making flashy, hack and slash, just awesome, awesome work. And what I got uh, Transformers, it was a budget top, it's not really budget, it was $10 off, you know, com 10 compared to other games, it was forty nine ninety nine. this was a while back, um, I went into it, I was like, man, this is going to be crap, and I started playing it, and I, the other day I finally finished it, um, and it's not very long, it's about six, seven hours, but it's fun, it's fantastic, the art style's great, um, you could tell it's a little cheap. You can, in some instances, you had to reuse the uh, same enemies over and over. Bayonetta 1 had that problem, too, where you end up fighting the same people over and over and over again. Uh, but Bayonetta was fantastic. Um, I still have it finished number 2, and I'll get to that. But everything, it do, there's not one thing I think it does wrong, except there are some sections in the game where the camera is a little off. Like, there's a bridge section, and... It's weird. It turns into like a uh, 2D platformer type thing. I didn't care for that, but everything else is good. Um, I almost think it's better than um, the War for Cybertron games. Um, maybe. That might be pushing it a little bit, but it's it's pretty close up there. Uh, it's a nostalgia trip. Um, and it kind of gives me hope about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game they have coming out. Um, it looks okay. I don't know. I'm not going to judge it, and I'm going to wait for that. But uh, if you guys have been wondering about Devastation, you guys get a chance to pick it up. Highly recommend it. Um, it's a blast. Um, but other than that, um, another thing, one more thing. Um, Shadows of Innistrad is coming out, I think, in April. And that's the new uh, Magic the Gathering set. I'm going to try my best to have something to open, the maybe a fat pack or something. Right now I can't really do much anything else, but I am planning on getting a fat pack at least, um, or um, maybe some pre-release stuff. Um, you can always check out my good friends at the Goblin Traders. Uh, they are on YouTube. They do have a Twitch show, and they just recently did a podcast about the Eldrazi that's pretty much taken over modern and whatever um it's a big thing but check those guys out um again they're my best friends uh i love you guys if you're watching especially you bryce brian gary all of you guys anthony um and whoever i have it named i love you um and i'm glad to be able to get back and making new content now the schedule's gonna be a little bit different um we're gonna try to shoot again for tuesdays and thursdays We'll do the game feed, and we'll do Let's Talk. I don't know. I'm thinking aiming more for gaming. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, checking out this video. It's been a while. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And, as always, um, have a nice day. Tell me 
what you think in the comments. Tell me what you want to hear my opinion on. And like I said, again, just hit that subscribe button. Um, you can see my pretty beautiful face anytime you want from now on whenever I uh, upload a new video. <laughs> but guys, take it easy. And again, my name is Spanso6. Have a nice day.